I would be looking for something that was pleasing to look at. It was easy to use, um, hopefully interactive. Quizzes, things that will keep them engaged. Relevant in today's society, particularly with regards to health and fitness. Not too much reading. Fun. The most of all fun so that they want to learn more. Using people that they, they can identify with. It's very important that they easily get on board with what you're talking about and they can get into it and enjoy it. Wake Up Shake Up is a resource by Ruth Mitchell who was a ex-PE teacher and PDM Partnership Development Manager um, who decided to create a resource for getting people and youngsters active. It consists of uh, one CD and two DVDs uh, and basically there are six routines on the two DVDs which are broken down very well into how to teach a whole dance routine. I love the fact that this resource can be picked up by anybody. It doesn't need to be a teacher, it can be you know, TA, any other adult basically going into the classroom. So I just find it a complete comp comprehensive resource. You know, wet weather lessons, we use it during registration periods to get kids motivated at the beginning of the, of the day. OK, so we start with our hands on our hips, facing forward, nice straight backs, and we've just got 16 beats with heel raises. So your toes stay on the floor. Just show me lift one leg. I first came across Wake Up, Shake Up in primary school and thought it's a wonderful resource. Now we've got Wake Up Shake Up 3, that actually is fantastic. I use it across the whole of the secondary school. We've got year 10 and 11 children who love it. We've currently got some of our year 10s who are all, all learning the routines, having lots of fun, they're out of breath by the end of the routines, um, so it's, it's aerobic in nature. They then get to go and teach uh, the routines to the younger pupils. I've done a little bit of work with secondary boys um, and they seem to seem to find it a bit of fun. You know, they, they start to think it's a bit of a joke, but actually start to take it a little bit more seriously as they get along. Brilliant. Well done. And we'll do that again. Wake Up Shake Up 3 is £36.50. Um, and I think that's really great value for money um, for a resource that can just be used again and again. I thought the instructions were incredibly clear. I liked the fact that there was practice um, routines before actually going into it and the, the teachers actually broke it down into very very simple steps. The music's catchy and kind of captures the student interest very quickly. It was so easy it, you could you could put it on and you wouldn't have to be qualified in anything at all you could put it on and provide they can see it on a big screen then I should think that the students could, could enjoy it very easily without any direct input from the uh, teacher. It was easy to follow um, it had all the correct movements that, uh, you know, aerobics stroke dance teachers should follow. And for someone like me, who's not a dance specialist, um, it would be really easy for me to follow for myself and make a group follow me. It gives them the idea that they can have fun doing physical exercise. Because even though some of the activities look quite um, straightforward, you do them fast enough and long enough, and I'll tell you, you get going. I think the way the instructors speak to the children is a bit too um, junior for our older girls. Um, but you can adapt it as a starting point for Key Stage 4. It needed some men in it doing the dancing as well. Of course it's going to appear to girls and younger children, but that, there is that bit missing, um, some male influence in there. We used it on a, a group of our Year 7s that have slight problems with motor coordination and uh, they found it really simple and easy to, to use and they were able to control their bodies a lot better. There's no reason why you can't come back to it after several weeks and several months and still have an absolute ball. It's brilliant. The resource that I particularly like, and it's been around for a couple of years now, fantastically written is the License to Cook. It's got recipes on there, it's got interactive activities. Schools have to register, go on a training course in order to use it. Very well worth going on though, because the resources are fantastic. Boardworks is an interactive programme that, was, that uh, we've introduced here at King's Langley School. 
it's a very comprehensive programme and it covers all elements of, of the current PSHE framework. The PSHE um, package is split into two. One is personal wellbeing, the other side of it is um, uh, financial capability and economic wellbeing. For students, especially with PSHE, it's not um, something that the students always engage with. It's also quite difficult for some members of staff to engage with certain issues, especially you know, in, in sex and relationship education. I think what this does is it's a medium of which, for which students can actually engage with. It is interactive, it can be fun. If we click on the first icon, that will bring us up the first part of the programme. Um, at the bottom here you will see that there's video clips attached to some of the um, units. So we'll give the students the opportunity at different um, stages to either take part in debate, take part in, in voting or the discussional points. It does also give the um, teacher the opportunity to talk through an awful lot of the um, situations that will come up in better detail. It's not a cheap package and, and to a lot of people I would think that is the biggest drawback. However, I think when you're using it across the whole school, um, I think it is extremely good value for money. It's very broad, so it encompasses a wide range of different things. The PowerPoint displays themselves are quite comprehensive, so they cover a lot of the key facts key terminology and you can also move through them at your own pace quite swiftly so if there are areas which you don't particularly like you can just skip through them. Obviously it would have to be edited down because there's far too much for any one lesson in one section uh, which would, would, would require quite a bit of thought to make sure there was some continuity in it. I also enjoyed the fact that they were relevant to society today. Children could understand and make the links between what they're being educated about and what's going on in the world, especially with students at Key Stage 4. I think it's very comprehensive, so much so that it couldn't all be taught through one area of the curriculum. Um, it's a resource that would need to be shared amongst quite a number of different subjects. I think the students really like it. It's sometimes better to use with smaller groups so that you can get them up to the board and use it as, as part of the interactive whiteboard. It gets them engaged, it does get them thinking about the different topics. You can change the PowerPoint information to suit and adapt uh, the needs that you want to bring up in the classroom. You don't have to stick with the total programme that's actually set there, which is really flexible. I don't think it's value for money because I don't think there's enough information and detail on the DVD to justify the cost. Personally, I think it's very good value for money because um, we don't have to buy textbooks anymore and we can pick good things from it and use a lot of things and then bin the ones that we don't really want to use. The reason why we find BoardWorks excellent is because we, the resource is there, it's ready made, it's very active, it's very stimulating and uh, it's fantastic. One of my favourite pieces of portable equipment is this. It's a wireless portable amplifier. It's fantastic for motivating kids. They can hear me right the other length of the field. It's able to play CDs and MP3s and also has wireless capacity for microphones as well. It's really good fun. Can you hear me at the back? The Grain Chain is a, a website which is a brilliant resource because it's cases for children from 5 right through to 16. Very colourful, easy to use and ever so easy to access. The Grain Chain, as you might expect, is about grain and it's looking how it's sown, harvested and what happens to it when it comes to our table. So that looking at flour, looking at breakfast cereal and looking at what students can do with that flour when they have it themselves. There is some really good information here. For instance, there's um, very interactive food on the plate and students can do a bit of drag and drop. So they really appreciate doing that and have a bit of fun as well. There's another exercise which is called food as fuel and really that it's a way to introduce the food groups. 
One particularly good feature of the website is the videos. And I'm going to look here at cheese and onion triangles, although there's loads more. And students really like these because they can see that they're easy recipes, the methods are fairly simple to follow, and they can be done within the hour lesson. First, prepare the filling by mixing the cheese and onion together in the small bowl. In addition to all the material that is on here, there are some fantastic links that students might want to access. So it's showing, although it's looking primarily at food work dealing with flour, it's actually extending students as well. The brilliant thing about this particular resource is that you do not have to pay to use it. You don't even have to pay to register. It's absolutely free. I think it's fun. I think it would be fun for, for students to explore. It's got lots of interactive uh, quizzes for the students to do. It's got lots of worksheets. It's got lots of different sites that they can go into easily and find out information. I particularly like the elements of interactive um, lessons for both teachers and pupils. And there's lesson plans already set out for a teacher to use within a wide cross-curricular section. I do think that the grain chain is slightly imbalanced and it, I guess it has to be um, because it obviously is coming from the um, flour industry so that is something to be considered when looking at the resource. I don't feel as though the industry are pressing their interest when I see the website. Um, when I first looked at it, it very much jumped out as being very much a educational resource rather than an industry-led um, advertisement. I think it's an excellent resource that can be used both in the classroom, uh, in any lessons, whether it's science, geography, uh, food technology, but I think it's a really good resource for students to actually go away and research on websites to give them more information to bring back into the lessons. At Key Stage 4 it's not very interactive, There's not. it's very much fact-based and they're quite simple facts. I would like to see some higher level um, terminology to perhaps link in with the GCSE geography food technology courses. Although it's aimed at Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4, for me personally I think it's a much better resource for Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 3. That's fantastic. Um, I've already recommended it and passed it on to colleagues in other departments and I know it's been used in food tech already.